20s in their 70s. I eat right, sort of. I exercise, sometimes. I do get yearly mammograms. I don't smoke. I do enjoy good red wine. And I do check myself. I even found a lump, but thought nothing of it because I am, in medical terms, lumpy. I couldn't tell this lump was any different. I was aware of breast cancer, but not aware that it could happen to me. I am one of the 6% who get stage 4 as my initial diagnosis, and I am one of 20% whose tumors did not even show on the mammogram when they knew I had breast cancer. But more importantly, I am still me. I laugh hard, I work intensely, and I love with everything I've got. I fish in our pond, I cheer my kids on in their games, and I still unsuccessfully try to talk on the phone and cook at the same time. <laughs> the classroom is still one of my all-time favorite places to be, get the fired up about whatever we're talking about. But today, nearly 155,000 women in the U.S. are living with metastatic breast cancer, and 30% of those with early, breast, early stage breast cancer will go on to become metastatic. metastatic sorry. The median survival after metastatic breast cancer diagnosis is three years. However, because of medical advances, as many as 27% of those diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer now live five years past their diagnosis, and some have been reported to live 10 or 20 years. I say live and not suffer or battle or dying from because doctors are aiming to make metastatic breast cancer a chronic disease, one that people can live with for a long time. And despite that effort, metastat metastasis research receives only about 1% of the 5 billion annual national cancer fund. And metastatic breast cancer research receives even less. And I read, and I can't, I'm sorry to be a downer, but um, everybody who dies of breast cancer dies of metastatic breast cancer. You don't die from a lump in your breast. It has to get out and get to your vital organs. So I really appreciate the chance to tell my story. And I know it's hard to hear sometimes, but I think it needs to be heard. And what's important is today, and that we are here. And that we're here for ourselves, each other, and those that you're here to remember. I believe it's what we do with our time, not how much time we have. And this time, right here, right now, is meaningful. Enjoy your walk, and walk with a purpose with a friend or holding hands and celebrate each other. Thanks.